Hey guys, welcome to the predictions of Cruz Azul since day one the poll of the voting for the next team you guys would like me to do it was Cruz Azul who won so let's go ahead and start with the goalkeepers now in the gold cup prediction squad I gave uh, Corona 73 but I seen him how he's playing in the gold cup in the first game and he played pretty good so I gave him a 74 because I think due to his age EA might also downgrade him to a silver so I gave him a minus 2 to a 74 silver guys now Let's go into the second goalkeeper, uh, which is Allison. Allison, I gave him gave him a same rating of 65, so I kept him at 65 rating, guys, as a silver. So, guys, let's go ahead and go to our defenders. And next, guys, we have the defenders, like I said. And we're going to start with the defender from Argentina, Velasquez. And I gave him a plus one to a 70. And then, guys, we have Dominguez. So, we gave him a... We actually kept him at the same rating, 71. Same rating he has on head to head. And then, guys, we had Rocco. Rocco was downgrade in head to head, so I also gave him the downgrade just because Cruz Azul didn't have the amazing season, so I gave him a 75 to Rocco. And then we have Aldrete. Aldrete gave him a plus one. He was one of Cruz Azul's best players in last season, uh, so I gave him a plus one to a 71. And then we have Flores. Flores has been loaned out from Cruz Azul. Uh, this couple of seasons so I gave him a minus 2 to a 68 so I think he will be uh, getting downgraded so let's go ahead and continue with our defenders and next we have uh, Silva guys Jordan Silva the reason I gave Silva a downgrade from a 70 to a 69 is because with the coach of Toluca he didn't play that much because he didn't uh, the coach of Toluca didn't like him so he didn't play last season in most of the games in Toluca so I gave him a minus 1 to a 69 although he could keep that 70 rating and then guys Mendoza he was the right back for Cruz Azul all the season so I gave him a plus 3 to a 68 I think he will be getting that upgrade so let's go ahead guys into the midfielder so our midfielders we're gonna start with Baca guys this uh, Mexican player uh, he has been one of Cruz Azul's best players in my opinion and I gave him a plus 3 from a 70 to a 73 guys. And then we have Kota. Kota we gave him a plus 1 from a 62 to a 63 bronze player guys. Now on Chaco Jimenez I gave him a plus 1 because he, he came as a sub um, in very important games with Cruz Azul and he managed to pick up a ties or victories for Cruz Azul so I think he was also one of Cruz Azul best players so gave him a plus one although EA might downgrade him uh, because of his age so guys let's go ahead into on uh, our next player which I believe was the best player of Cruz Azul and that is no other than the Ecuadorian Mena so Mena gave him a plus three from a, a 71 to a 74 I I even would put him as a goal but I don't think EA would do that guys so Mena gave him a 74 rated plus three and then guys we have the youngster uh, Montaño and we gave him a plus one so let's go into our next midfielders our next midfielders guys we have Suniga we gave him a plus two and we made him a silver 65 and then we have Peñalba Peñalba gave him a minus one uh, EA did that also on head to head so I think he will be uh, he could even be a silver but I gave him a minus one from a 76 to a 75 now guys we have Rodriguez up next to Chilean Rodriguez gave him a plus one from uh, 71 to a 73 just because he did play good for the national team of Chile and then guys we uh, have Mendes uh, the Spanish uh, player he actually got upgraded on FIFA 17 from silver to gold with uh, Alves the former his former club so I think he's gonna be getting the same car 075 gold 
player guys and then guys we have silva uh, uh the chilean and silva and we kept them on the same rating with the 74 rated card and then guys we have the strikers but let's talk about joao rojas why do we have joao rojas on the strikers when he's a right winger the thing is guys that i'm gonna include joao rojas here but apparently according to some rumors cruz azul is trying to look for a team for him so that could still happen he could still leave the club but we're gonna give him a rating just because he was also one one very good player in my opinion for Cruz Azul I gave him a plus one but I think he will stay same rating or be upgraded plus one and then guys we have Jimenez Jr uh, the son of Chaco Jimenez and since this would be his first FIFA if EA adds him to FIFA I gave him a 63 rated card guys to him and then guys we have Mora uh, the Chilean striker Mora he played very good in his former club uh Ude chile he even got an inform so i gave him a plus two upgrading him to a 74 silver and finally guys the last player is cuarterucho and we kept him at the same rating uh just because he got injured but he came from the he came from his former club playing very good so i gave keep him on the 74 i don't think it would be fair for ea to downgrade him since he didn't play with cruz because he was injured so i think uh this season could be his season and he could be scoring a lot of goals so i hope you guys have enjoyed this prediction guys and i'll see you guys next time adios